Hello and welcome. Today's video is going to be back on the APM 3.1. A user named GeoFrancis2001 earlier asked me how to use Flip on this guy so you can program the Omega 32. So I'm going to make this a two part video. The first part's going to be showing you the way to do it with Flip, and the second part of it is going to be with the ISP and how to unbrick the 32U2 chip so I can just put both videos in one. All right, so just open this guy up. Flip the board over. And then I'm going to take a picture of it and then say where the pins are. All right, so your two connections for flip would be here. This is the one you want to have um, a permanent connection. Just find ground anywhere. I just soldered it right there. That's one connection. And then your next one is your reset. And your reset's right here. And you only want to do uh, reset, you just want to touch it. So most likely just put a small piece of wire there and you could just touch it right on top of the USB to put it into DFU. All right, so I'm just going to show you how I soldered it and then jump into the flip in case people don't know how to use flip. So I'm just going to try to pre-tin this pad. This pad. Which is really hard. There you go, there's one. And then, uh, it's a little bit bigger. And it's okay if you get it on the resistor on the one side, at least on this guy. There you go. And then, uh, for the HWB pin, I'm just going to cheat and I'm going to go on the side here. Maybe. And then I'm just going to take my ground right there. So it's better to solder this guy on first on this side so you don't put stress on the other pad. Okay. And this is for the HWB pin. All right, so I'm just going to have to do this uh, off camera probably because the, the pin here and this capacitor here, you got to be really careful that you don't get a bridge between the two because I already got a bridge between here. So I'm just going to put this on a table. It's too hard for me to solder up in the air like this without shaking. So I'm going to have to put it down and use a magnifying glass and I'll just pause it and then uh, wire it properly and then use a magnifying glass and get back into it. All right, so uh, that little connection is actually pretty hard to do. So just take your time and you should be able to get it. Alternatively, uh, I wouldn't know what else to suggest. You could use uh, these kind of clips with maybe a pin or something on it and get two people, one person to hold it on the copper while you're doing the programming. Okay. Let's see. I'm using a big wire this time. Uh -huh. Okay, good enough. Just making sure I don't have any shorts. So I'm just going to hot glue this guy in place so it doesn't move because I'm going to be using this wire as well for uh, the ISP programming. All right, so download my package and extract it. Install one of these guys here, the flip installer with the Java or without the Java. It's probably best to do it with the Java and then just unselect the uh, Firefox add-ons and stuff like that. So double click on that, install that. Once it's done, plug in your APM. All right, so once you plug it in, it should get detected as a port. So there it is there. 
So now what you're going to want to do is touch the reset against the ground pin and then watch in control panel what happens when you do this. So it should reset it and now right at the top you should have Atmel USB device. Once that happens open up your flip program that you installed and click here and then pick the Omega 32U2 chip Say OK. Next click on the USB guy here. Say open. So it should get detected. Next click here for loading the hex file. And then uh, here's the original one. And if you're going to be installing the S bus, I also included that here. That's up to you. And then just double click on it. Once that's loaded up, just say run. And it's done. All right, so that's it for this part of the video. The next part of the video is gonna be installing the ISP, just in case you bricked it, say with this step. All right. All right, welcome to the ISP side of it to unbrick the Omega 32U2 chip. So the pads here would go like this. And the pads on this guy are here. So this would be your SCK, Mossy, MISO, and then your reset is right there. And this one, you don't need to use the HWB pin. And we're also going to use, instead of soldering on these pads here, we're just going to use the channel cables instead. The only wire you have to solder this time would be the reset pin. And I just used one of these and ripped off the end so I can solder. How you do it is up to you. Now the HWB pin is... Um, you might have to use it. All right, so I got my one wire soldered on for ISP connections. We're gonna use the cable here for your channels. And we're after the first, uh, not the first, but we're after channel two, channel three, and channel four. And those are the three wires we're going to use, plus the positive and negative to connect it to the ISP. So the first green wire is your SCK. And that guy gets plugged in in the center left pin. The next one is your blue. And your blue is your mossy. And the blue gets plugged in next to the green wire, like that. And then your last wire here is your yellow wire, and that's your MISO, and that one gets connected at the top. Now I didn't do a proper color code here, but your reset wire is black, and that goes on the bottom left corner. And then now we're gonna use the positive and negative cable. You can use it elsewhere, but it's just easier if you just use these two wires here. So the red wire is your positive, and that goes at the top of your ISP. Eventually, like that. And your ground wire gets plugged in the last pin here on the bottom corner, right corner. All right, so that's all the wires for that. So I'll download my, all right, extract my package, go into the folder called bootloader and PPM, Unbrick, double click in there, uh, plug in your ISP, and I included three different versions here. If you have a different kind, just let me know. I have the uh, this guy here, so I'm going to double click on him, push any key, Might seem like it's frozen as well, just have some patience with it.
All right, press any key, now you're done. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully this helps you guys out, or somebody at least. Uh, that's it, like and subscribe, and that's all.